morning, guys. Great day for hockey, yay, yeah, boys. Let's go, Blake. Oh, yeah. Skate hard, boys, skate hard today. Let's go, HO. So Hyundai gave me the new Santa Fe for two weeks and told me to do something epic with it. I mean, it has a lot of cool features. Look at this futuristic, luxurious interior. Check out the wireless charging and the cell phone sanitation. And the seats, so comfortable. I mean, these seats are so comfortable. I could probably sleep right here. They even have this lounge feature. This little thing. How's that for luxury? But uh, way cooler sleeping on the roof. When I saw this nifty C-pillar assist handle, yeah, so I can step up, get easy access to the roof, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I drove it straight to Red Bear Outdoors. And I asked them to put one of these beauties on, a rooftop tent. Once it was outfitted, I started heading north, went up to Muskoka, and when most people think about Muskoka, they think, oh, I just sit on the cottage, watch the sunrise, enjoy the beautiful calm lake. No, 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 not this guy. This is more my style. Look at this primo location. We got the hockey rink right there. Got a nice quiet parking lot. You saw the portal potty. Let me just back this right up. Ah, easy access to the bathroom. We made it to the first hockey rink. It is time to finally fulfill my dream. Living at a rink. This is the Canada Summit Center. This one's a beauty. It's nice, got two pads. I think only one in. It has a coffee shop. It has a gym I can work out. Perfect spot, and look at this. Look at the trees, nature right behind me. Let's get this thing set up. That's right, for the next week, I am going to live at as many hockey rinks as I possibly can and see what's going on at each rink, and there were some adventures. I brought my family along to some. I found some pros skating way up north. I went to a hockey camp and helped teach and signed a ton of autographs. I got out on the ice with a bunch of old timers, 70 plus, and I found a bear inside a rink. Man, this is crazy. Let's get to our very first rink, set up the tent, and find out what happens when you live at a hockey rink parking lot. You guys need an extra guy? I would love to. I pass the puck a lot too. I'm in, 8 a.m. on a Wednesday morning and I'm on the ice. Turns out it's with the 70 plus group, but I promised I'd take it easy and move the puck around a lot. So they said, come on out and play. And the best part about playing in the 70 plus group, when I went to pay, she even gave me the senior discount. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. There's my beautiful house and time to lace them up. Let's go. You just had a birthday? <laughs> yeah. 38 going on 70. Good. Yeah. These guys might be older. Still thread the needle and snap that puck around. Look at that backhand tape the tape right in the slot. I told him I wouldn't shoot, but I mean I kinda had to put this one in. These guys are absolute beauties. When I'm 70 years old, I want to be doing exactly what they're doing, getting together twice a week with your friends, playing some hockey, and then going out for coffee after. And they still got it. Look at this snipe. After saying goodbye to these beauties, it was time to meet up with the family. All right, so we'll hang out in the tent for a little bit, and what do you want, go get some, some breakfast? Yeah! All right, we'll grab some breakfast. The greatest, the greatest part! You going to the park? Yeah! Yeah? We can stick our heads out, we climb that rock back there. Sure, going for a walk or the park or going for coffee is nice to do, but there's obviously more exciting things to do in the summer. You wanna go for a skate? Yeah! You wanna play some hockey? Yeah! Okay. The girls loved my idea, but it seems Sammy doesn't quite share my vision. What are we doing here? So? In the middle of the summertime. Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? <laughs> I'm sleeping in the parking lot, of course. <laughs> you know how there's always so much to pack for camping? Well, I also brought my hockey equipment, my wife's hockey equipment, and equipment for both my daughters. Sammy warmed up to the idea of a family skate. I ended up having a lot of fun. Briar was doing great. Olivia is on her road to rep hockey. Before you know it, Briar was just off on her own, just ripping around with that wily e. Coyote skating stride. Look at those legs go. And Olivia's been working on lifting that puck. Looking good. After playing hockey, it was time to do something else that I absolutely love, and that is coaching hockey. I went further north to South River and coached with Hockey Opportunity Camp, and they have an amazing camp. Tons of kids come here, so they take over the curling club and convert it into dressing rooms so the kids get to leave their bags there and then just walk right into the rink. That gave me an idea. I should set up my Santa Fe with the rooftop tent right next to the rink 
so I can fulfill my dream of just waking up, getting my gear on, and stepping right out onto the ice. Tell me you have not dreamed of doing this exact thing. I am seriously living the dream here. What's up, Blake? I always love getting out on the ice, firing the kids up, giving them little tidbits of knowledge here and there, and also picking up some tips from the other coaches out there. HOC has some amazing instructors. They run a great camp, tons of coaches out there. We had a blast. The kids learned a lot, and I stayed after to sign some autographs, take some selfies, but then it was time to pack up my house and head to my next location where I was going to find some pretty interesting things at this rink. Officially living at our very last rink. And I hear there's a few pro players going on the ice pretty soon. Let's see if I can hop on the ice with those guys. Before we hop on the ice, let's take a little tour of the arena. I always love checking out these unique small rinks. Seems they really love huskies here. Got pictures of them everywhere. That's a cute little pusher learning to skate. Love to see the training products just sitting out here and oh. Oh, that room has to smell. It's condensating on the window. Oh my gosh. What is that bear doing there? Is he guarding the stinky skates? If anyone skates at Humphrey Arena, please tell me why is there a stuffed bear in the stands? Love to know the backstory there. I head back out to the parking lot, and who is this trying to break into my house? Looks like you've been sleeping here for a week now, is it? Yeah, yeah. About a week, different rinks. Yeah, looks like it, eh? Got the basketball court, too. Yeah, this is not a bad place to live. Exactly. Just live right at the rink. Oh, yeah, by the way. this, guys. Hockey players can play any sport. Oh. Oh! After a good warm up shooting hoops with Chippy, it was time to lace him up, go out with the pros. My buddy Brady Leovold, he runs Muskoka Hockey Camp with Sam Gagne, and the pros are out here all summer just working on those hands, staying sharp. Obviously, this is all top secret, super confidential stuff here, so I'm just showing a few of the warm up drills. The guys are working on the two puck exchange, snapping that puck around. Then they switch it up to a backwards one hand backhand puck pickup. Guys are super smooth with the edges. I want to stick around longer, but I had to duck out early so I could make it to my men's league game at my very last rink. Now this rink is great for the kids. We got football fields, we got soccer fields, we got a park for the kiddos. I backed it up, nice quiet space. Let me tell you, if I didn't have a wife and kids, I could get used to this. Everything you need, just right in the rink parking lot, grab your bag, you walk over to the rink, you have a good time with the boys, you can chill in the parking lot after, and then when you're ready to pack it in, you just grab your gear and you climb up on top of your tent, you settle down for a nice, relaxing... Oh, oh God. <clears throat> That's much better. Big thanks to Hyundai for allowing me to finally fulfill my dream of living at hockey rinks. I had a lot of fun, I met a lot of people, but would I trade it for the familiarity, the predictability, the routine of being at home, the big backyard, the skating trail, the hockey rink? Heck yeah, you know how much insurance, bills, mortgage, taxes cost? Forget that, it's for sale, we're moving into the Santa Fe with a tent on top. Ah, uh, this is a life for me, Sammy, I hope you enjoy it. This is the new view of our backyard. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.